Welcome. In this video, we're going to briefly show you how to perform principal component analysis on rasters in ArcGIS Pro. Our goal is to take a seven band multi band raster and deconvolve it using PCA prior to classification. So let's quickly talk about what is PCA. Um, basically, uh, we have, let's, in this example, a five band raster. Each pixel can be described by a list of five numbers, one for each band. So we can create a table like this. Uh, we have n pixels, so we have a row for each pixel, and then we have five columns, one for each band. So this describes essentially all the data in our multi-band raster. Um, what we can then do is basically use principal component analysis to deconvolve that into um, a bunch of eigenvectors and a bunch of principal component scores. And we can have as many eigenvectors as we have dimensions or as, as we have bands. And we have as many prints as scores as we have pixels in this case. So if we multiply those eigenvectors by the scores uh, in matrix algebra, we predict kind of a regenerated data set. We can regenerate uh, essentially all of the original data. However, the cool thing is that if we don't use all of the eigenvectors, say we had five and we only used three, we can now get a close approximation of that original data using uh, much less information. So visually, how does this work? Um, even though we have five bands and therefore five dimensions, we'll just quickly look at this in two dimensions. So we can plot each of our pixel values as a blue circle in band one versus band two space. And, um, but you have to imagine in reality, we have five bands that we can't really visualize. So this is some cloud of pixels in a shape that we cannot visualize. But thinking just in two dimensions, um, our data clearly find, define kind of this linear array. And so uh, what we're gonna do is first fit a line um, along the direction of maximum variation. This is gonna be essentially our first eigenvector. Uh, and then uh, we can rotate the data and essentially take a measure of the distance along that line. So this uh, point would be at a distance of you know, minus four, this point would be at a distance of zero, and so on. And that distance along the first eigenvector is actually going to be our uh, component scores. So those would be the scores for our first principal component. Okay, now uh, what we do is we take another line that is perpendicular to the first line and captures the axis of next largest variation that is also perpendicular to the first line. And this will become our second eigenvector. And once again, we're gonna measure the distance along this second eigenvector line. So, uh, and I guess we're not gonna show that, but we would rotate it. And uh, depending where the, these dots project onto this red line and where they fall along it, that would be our second set of principal component scores or our PC2 scores. So we've now essentially described this data set in terms of its principal component scores. And we can actually take those scores and plot them, not in the original band one versus band two space, but actually in PC1 versus PC2 space. And depending on the data set, this may help us actually visually uh, discriminate between the different classes. So I know that was a very fast introduction to principal components, but let's go see how we can do this now in uh, ArcGIS Pro. So we'll bring up that software. So we have this classification project going on. And most recently, we created a stacked seven band raster with all of our inputs. And so now we're going to basically perform principal component analysis on this stacked seven band raster. So as usual, we can find all of our tools under analysis tools. And we'll type in principal component. And here it is. It's a built in tool. We're going to 
uh, choose our stacked raster that we just made recently. And um, I will try to enter in an output file name, but I have had trouble with this causing issues in the workflow. So if it's not working for you, I suggest you actually just leave it at the output. And actually, maybe I'll just take my own advice and leave it here. Uh, we are going get, to get all seven of the principal components out. If you don't want them all, you don't need to output them all. So I'll hit run. This is probably going to take a little while, and we may encounter problems, but I'll pause while it runs. Awesome. So that finished, and it created a temporary raster over here called Princip1. And you can see that is currently displayed. And we're getting some pretty nice sharp contrast here for sure. We're getting bright green for water. We're getting uh, shades of blue for grass and for trees. We're getting uh, kind of yellow. And then for other vegetation, we're getting mid range yellow. Anyway, it's looking promising. Uh, keep in mind, this is now a temporary file. And I've had a lot of issues with these going corrupt. So the first thing I'm going to do is just export this. Right click, data, export raster. And we're going to see if we can uh, save this as a permanent file. I'll specify a file name and then come back. Okay, so I specified a file name. I called it class stack PCA2. I'm going to hit export and hope it can make this puppy permanent. Uh, this is displaying black. And for right now, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to wrap this video and keep going towards classification. Uh, thanks.